Hello everyone, so today I have a video that I am really really excited for. Today I'm sharing with you guys three hairstyles that I created inspired off of ancient Chinese fashion. And this video is in celebration for the Mid-Autumn Festival which is happening October 1st and it's also known as the Moon Festival. And although they look really complicated, I think it is very easily summed down into some very simple techniques. So I am really really excited to share this with you guys and I hope you guys enjoy! Okay, so let's get started. And first, you guys will notice that I have long black hair. And please don't judge me for the wacky hairline. I literally did this video so last minute. I just grabbed this like random cheapy ass wig from my closet and I tried my best to make it work. So for my first hairstyle, the inspiration is a very youthful young girl. And they would wear things like cute little ribbons tied in their hair and a lot of buns and loopies. So this hairstyle is going to be very youthful and very cute. So first off, I'm separating about two inches of hair from my front and I'm just going to leave this down and then I'm splitting my hair straight down the back in half. I'm taking the top half of my hair and I'm tying this off into a high ponytail. I think this is like the worst thing that I've ever tried to do like for a hairstyle video which is to try to like tie a bunch of ponytails in a cheap wig because like all my wefts were sticking out but I think I did like a pretty decent job at hiding it later on but yeah, I know it's like really cringy to watch. I'm simply doing doing a three strand braid until I reach to the bottom and then I'm tying it off with an elastic. And with a lot of these ancient Chinese inspired hairstyles that I've been seeing, I find that the techniques are extremely simple. I don't really see anyone do anything more than just simple three strand braids. So I feel like anyone can learn how to do these. They're actually very simple. And then so from here on out, I am taking this long ass braid and I'm coiling it around itself to create a little bun, making sure to tuck the ends completely under the bun so that it's hidden. And with these looped buns, I always say this, but it's really easy to make sure these stay securely in place. You just need to insert four bobby pins in each four directions and it will be super secure. Then I'm going to repeat this on the other side. And this is what we're left with so far. I think that this is already an insanely cute hairstyle, but I am going to continue onwards by splitting the rest of my hair in the back straight down the center. And then I am braiding each half into another three strand braid and tying it off with an elastic. Then taking each braid, I am going to form a little loopy and I am going to pin this directly in the center of my head with some X bobby pins for a super secure hold. Then for my front little pieces, I am taking some very thin silky pink ribbons and I'm pinning this underneath the first section of my hair. And for me, it was really easy because I just pinned it into the wig cap. But for people who are using their real hair, you just want to pin this in an inconspicuous place where you can't see the bobby pin. Then I'm incorporating each tail of the ribbon into a regular three strand braid and I'm braiding this all the way to the bottom and then tying it off with an elastic. Then again, I'm taking these braids and I'm looping them again and pinning them in the center of my head with some crossed bobby pins. And this gives a double looped effect that makes this hairstyle just like so ridiculously cute. And then to accessorize, I'm using these double butterfly pins and I am simply just like stabbing them into the bun and they actually have a really super secure hold. So you guys might be asking me, but May, what does it look like in the back? Doesn't it look all messy and ugly? Yes, you are correct. So from the back, I have like a shit ton of bobby pins. So I'm taking an embroidered silk ribbon and I'm tying this into a bow and I'm just going to insert it over that mess that we've created to hide all of the bobby pins and all of our crossed braids. And this is what this hairstyle looks like. Again, this is a very youthful looking hairstyle. Again, you have the double buns and the loopies and the braided ribbon, which gives it a very youthful appearance. And what I'm wearing today is called Honfu. And there's a lot of different types of Han clothing, but the specific style that I'm wearing today is called Chai Hong Yukon. And recently on things like Douyam, which is Chinese TikTok, you can see this resurgence of traditional Chinese clothing in street style. And it's just been so amazing to see and I'm freaking here for it. Okay, so segueing into our next hairstyle. My inspiration for this one is definitely more of a moon goddess look. I took a lot of inspiration from moon goddesses themselves because they have like these very intricate 
half up dues with all of these accessories. It's actually really easy because I'm leaving all of the braided parts that we created for our first hairstyle. So taking one of the braided top pigtails, I'm folding this into three and I'm laying it across the top of my head to create these little like bunny-ish looking ears. And then I'm adding a crap ton of bobby pins to secure this in place. Seriously, like at any given moment, there's probably like 50 bobby pins in my wig throughout this entire video. And then taking the second braided pigtail, I am creating another looped bun in the center. And I am again bobby pinning with four bobby pins in each direction to keep this in place. Then taking my braided loops, I am pulling it up and I am pushing it underneath one of the little looped braided ears and I am pinning that in place. And then I'm leaving the rest of my hair down for a more mature goddess look. And then to accessorize, I'm using a pretty large barrette to pin in the center to hide all of the bobby pins. And then I'm taking smaller floral clips to pin on the sides to hide the bobby pins underneath my little loopies. And that is it for this hairstyle. And this is the most ridiculous hairstyle that I've ever done in my life. I was, I was really living for this one. I'm just really, really happy with how this turned out. I feel like this is all of like my ancient Chinese princess dramas like coming to life. If there's one thing that I regret about this hairstyle, it's that I should have taken out the ribbons that were braided in the front pieces because I felt like it was a little bit too youthful for this look since I was trying to go for a more mature look. So that is the only thing that I'll say if anyone wants to like recreate this. So I'm toning it down from like the ridiculous goddess inspired hairstyle and we are going to take a more casual route and I wanted it to be really simple so that we can actually wear this in real life with our real hair. So with my hair flat, I am going to do the most ridiculous thing that I've ever done, which is to tie half of my hair up into a high pigtail and to have all of my wefts sticking out but I think I did like a pretty okay job at like getting them back down afterwards you want to create a little hole in the center of each pigtail and then you want to pull the ponytail through this hole so that the ponytail is laying flat facing frontwards and when I was learning how to do these types of hairstyles I found that this was a very interesting technique because we do these little loopies in modern day hairstyles but we have the ponytail facing outwards but for this one we're facing it forwards because we're going to use that ponytail later and I'm kind of just like lightly pulling the hair to give it more shape and then afterwards I went in with some bobby pins to push it into a nicer looking shape then with the ponytail that is flipped frontwards I'm going to braid this into a three strand braid and then I'm securing this off with an elastic then taking these two braids, I'm joining them in the back with an elastic and then I'm pulling the rest of my hair over the braid so that the braid rests underneath my hair for a sort of like reverse crown effect Then to dress things up and to hide the elastic, I'm taking my thin pink ribbon and I'm just bobby pinning this in the front to hide the elastic. And that is it for this last hairstyle. This is again a more simple approach to a Chinese inspired hairstyle. I know the first two were like kind of high maintenance and everything so I wanted the last one to be just a little bit more approachable for anyone who wants to try these. I feel like I did like a pretty decent-ish job with this crappy wig but hopefully if anyone is going to be trying this with like their own real hair, hopefully it looks like a little nicer, neater, a little less messy. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I had a really, really fun time creating this video and I just hope to continue to create Chinese inspired hairstyle videos in the future because I just really love this like era of fashion and it's just so inspirational to me. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting me here on my channel and also on Patreon if you are a patron and I will see you guys again next time.